Sue Ryder was a humanitarian dedicated to the relief of suffering. Her work started during World War II, helping people displaced from their homes as a result of the war. After the war, she widened her scope of work, supporting people with complex needs and life-threatening conditions across the UK and internationally. So when she died on the 2nd of November 2000, she left behind a legacy of charities in the UK and worldwide including ours who continue care based on Sue Ryder's principles. Compassion and the relief of the suffering. Her work was expansive and international. We still raise lots of money for Sue Ryder Care here in all the Sue Ryder hospices around the world and in the UK. We have charity shows, we have fates, we have dog shows, we have lots and lots of sponsors that give us gifts to help us and always pop into the Sue Ryder Hospice charity shop and grab yourself a bargain and remember where that money's going. This is Stephen James Wheatley saying thank you, thank you very much for all your support. Also remember the Sue Ryder Fate. August the 13th, 11 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon this year, 2017. We're still raising money and we get all this help from all you people out there and all you companies, all you nice people that help people in front of you. Sue Ryder helped people in front of her. She didn't, she just helped them, helped them, helped them. That's all it's about. Thank you. See you August 13th at the Fate. Bye, see you soon. And also see you September the 30th on our walk, our starlight walk. Bye bye, see you soon.